Welcome back everybody, the History Guy here. It's episode 8 and my very first time playing through the British Campaign, which was just released in the last few weeks uh, here on Ultimate Admiral Age of Sail. If you did not see the first seven episodes, there is a link in the description below that will take you back to episode 1. And as always, you can go to ultimateadmiral.com to get uh, not only this game, but also the Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts game. Both are in alpha. They are far from a finished product, and they're not available anywhere else but that website. You have to download their client to install, and it'll automatically give you the updates every time there is one so you can keep up with the latest version of the game. This game in particular, uh, since I've been playing this series, there have probably been six or seven updates. So the game is constantly being updated, constantly being changed. Uh, so we will see how this goes. We are now into the war in North America. So we're coming in at the tail end of the major combat of the American Revolutionary War. It is March, uh, actually February of 1781. So we're about six months from uh, the climactic action at Yorktown. Before we get into refitting and preparing for the next missions, I have heard from... A couple of our patrons, as well as a new patron, and I'm sorry I haven't gotten his name yet, but I have his username, which is Drink Beer Save Water. So thank you for joining at $15 a month. Appreciate that. And he has requested, uh, given me a bunch of names uh, for possibilities. We're going to use one in particular right now. We'll probably see some others down the road, either here or over on um, the other games that I'm playing. So uh, he has requested the HMS War Spite. So we're definitely going to bring that into being as soon as we possibly can. In fact, we'll go ahead and uh, Devonshire was just a kind of a, a holding name for that one. Actually, I don't think we'll use it there because I want to use it on a little better ship. Uh, and that particular one is uh, not the best for that. So Defiance was a cool name, but uh, we're going to upgrade uh, this to be the HMS War Spite. If I can type right, there we go. Uh, we're going to need a crew on that one. We'll take care of that in just a minute. As well as um, we've also got a request for HMS Undefeatable. Uh, that was uh, Jim O'Hare, who's been a long-time supporter of this channel. Greatly appreciate Jim's continued uh, support here. So, Jim, as soon as we get another ship added to the collection here, uh, we will certainly uh, make that update. He's also requested uh, the name of a officer to be henry andrew mcdermott we will add that to that uh, ship as soon as we get it in there uh, and then uh, andrew snodgrass who's uh, been a big supporter in a uh, this channel in the last couple of months has also requested uh, the name for a land unit so uh, he's actually requested that we uh, name one of our officers after the fame the infamous uh, British commander uh, Bannister Tarleton. If you've seen the movie The Patriot with Mel Gibson, Colonel Tavington is loosely based on Bannister Tarleton. Bannister Tarleton did not die during the war. He was kind of known for his guerrilla tactics, which was a big part of the war in the Carolinas on both sides. Uh, afterwards, served as a member of parliament. Uh, so uh, we're going to go ahead and do that here. So we've added him now. So now what we need to do is we need to uh, get everything refit and ready for the upcoming missions as well as look at where things stand. We've got three new career points. Uh, so we've got to think about where we want to go with those. Uh, I don't think I'll go training. Recruiting's cheaper. Uh, technological advances. So we have chances to get new technologies a little faster. The research cost can be cheaper. Um, Mission rewards, we've already been working on that quite a bit. Better prices from the Admiralty. Uh, the assortment of available options is increased. What I really would like to see would be, well, luck is nice. Uh, increased chance on side missions, that may be helpful. Uh, what I'd really like to see are more available weapons uh, because we really have a hard time getting those weapons. Upgrade costs cheaper would be nice too. Um, Damage control, so restoring to ships after the battle. And this one here is repair cost. So the repairs haven't been a real big issue for me so far, so I'm not too concerned about that. Um, the increase in reputation might be nice, but I think what we're going to go with right now is uh, I want to go after the improvement to the chances for techs, but also improve luck. For those side missions that'll be very helpful so we'll do that for now uh, we have no uh, new 
things to research except for siege artillery operations, access to mortars, which I've gone ahead and uh, done. Now, we do have the Diana-class frigate now available to us, which is uh, about the same size, but this is uh, one that holds troops, and you can see how many troops they can hold. They can hold a ton. Uh, and I believe right here, this is the, uh, is this the weight that they take up? Uh, cause it might really be helpful to buy one of those. And maybe now's the time to do that when I've got some money available to me. Uh, so we'll go ahead and buy that because, uh, when we get into some more land missions, we're going to need that. So let's go ahead and get surprise repaired. We're going to need some new officers here. Um, it looks like this is the best one we've got available to us at the moment. Uh, Murderous Henry's got everybody that they need. We definitely want to get the crew back up as high as we can go. Uh, Surprise is down near the minimum on crew. I would really like to get them some better weapons so that I can use them to board and feel better about it. Hey, we've got 915 of these available in the shop. That's huge. So we're, we're going to go that route. It's not very expensive to do the upgrade there so we'll get the max we can on that 286 i want to go back and look at murderous henry again because uh, that would be an upgrade for them as well let's take a look and see how much of an upgrade that would be a huge upgrade uh, on those weapons so we're definitely going to do that so that's good news uh, i want to take a look at what we've got here because we've got two side missions uh, they can each take uh, up to 180 of weight for ships. And just looking, for example, to see, uh, we'd get a 63% chance if we sent something like the Murderous Henry, which we're not going to do because we're going to save them for the main mission. But I feel like we need another one of these big ships. Um, and then here, Coastal Service, same thing, 71% uh, chance with a, with a ship like that. But we want to look at the main mission, and uh, we're going to... We can see here we can get up to 240. So maybe what I'll do is I'll, I'll get another ship equivalent to Murderous Henry, something like this fifth-rate Hermione class here. Um, actually, that Diana class frigate actually can take up to 280, four officers. So let's. Where is that one that we just bought? Is it here or did we not buy it? Yeah, we bought it. Where is it? So that one was the uh, that one was a troop ship, but we're also going to go ahead and buy this uh, HMS Lancaster, which is a uh, a naval frigate. So now uh, we're going to go ahead and get that one going. Where is that? It's over here, and we're going to rename that one. So that will be the undefeatable. Uh, if we can spell right. <laughs> and actually, um, we'll keep the war spite there for now, but eventually we might want to get a bigger ship with that name. So I don't know. We'll see how this goes. Um, add cannon. So we got 14 on the upper deck, 26 on the lower deck, total of 40 guns. Uh, so we'll get the best ones we've got available to us. And that appear to be these right here. They're also the heaviest. And then down below, we can get 18-pounder Armstrong guns. We've got 80 of them available. I don't know. We might put the... Oh, we've also got Bogart guns at 18-pounders. Um, so let's get those on there. I don't think we can upgrade these, can we? Can we go up to 18? No, we can only go to 12 on Murderous Henry. Uh, so the, the undefeatable, that Diana class, can take up to 18-pounder guns. So that's got a huge weight on it. That's our first frigate. Uh, so let's start assigning officers. Ooh, that's kind of brutal. That's because he's in the reserve. So we've got some good officers there. Now we need a crew. Again, we've got a lot of these guns available, so that's where we're going to go. How high can we go? Oh, we can go real big on this one. Oh, we don't have that much money left. Ah, uh, darn it. We may have to sell off some things here. So we're going to go down a little bit. So I probably shouldn't have bought that troop ship yet because we're not probably going to use it on any of these current missions. Um, Warspite needs a crew, so we're going to have to 
deal with that as well. And I'm not sure I've got the money for it unless I sell off something. All right, this is a Cerberus class. Uh, we could spend 15 and add that to the fleet. That's probably worth it. We don't have the money to repair it, though. Alert, you're getting sold. We really have no need for that one at this point. We're not going to make a ton of money on it, but we'll make a little bit. I also think we can go ahead and sell uh, the Devonshire because we don't need that troop ship at this point. So that gets us back a little bit of money, and that'll come in handy. So now we can go ahead and get Warspite the crew that she needs. We'll get her up to at least 200 there. All right. I think we are now ready to get into this. So let's go ahead and decide what we're going to do. Um, we can go up to 240 here. And how much do my ships take up? Uh, let's see. I know that number's around here somewhere, but I just don't see where it is off the top of my head. Uh, so we'll go in and take a look. All right, so I've got it figured out what I want to do now. i am also got to transfer my flag. Uh, and we're going to transfer the flag to the Undefeatable. That is de now definitely my most powerful ship. So uh, we're going to get Horatio Nelson over there, uh, which frees up an officer that we could put on one of these other ships. Um, let's see. I think we're probably better off to do this. So we'll go ahead and do it that way. Um, got a lot of shifting around to do now, but there's a definite upgrade there. Okay, so uh, we're going to send surprise on this mission here. 64% chance of success. I don't know that we've got... Uh, we could spend, send War Spite on this one. That's a 63% chance of success. And that leaves us with uh, the other three ships. One of them with a minimal crew, but unfortunately that's all the money I had left. That money did not go nearly as far as I thought it would. Uh, so we have a, a bit of a minimal crew on that third ship. But because I had the room for a third ship, I figured it was worth uh, sent, bringing Rayo along for this. Now, I've not seen this mission before. I don't know what to expect. Our army have an order to prepare another attack on the town of Savannah and take this important port back. Rebels know about our preparations and should attack our convoy from Ontario with large amounts of supplies that we need. We have to meet and protect a large group of merchant vessels against any treat, any threat. The offer still stands. I will do all your editing for you. Uh, Game Labs, if you need somebody who speaks English uh, and can get the wording right on all this stuff, let me know. I'll be glad to do it for you. Uh, not entirely sure. Oh, we went to the camp instead of playing the mission. All right, my bad. Okay, here we go. February 20th, now it's 1782. A minute ago it was 1781. I think we got to work out our dates here a little bit, folks. Uh, the fourth day is my squadron accompanies the Nassau and Hillsborough Army transports from British Columbia to the coast of Georgia. The mutineers are completely lost, uh, have completely lost any fear of our Navy. Their Coast Guard squadron, trashy and poorly armed vessels, brazenly keeps behind us. I can't leave the transports without protection or spray forces. Uh, spare? Spare forces? So I have to endure their presence. Until this point, more sails. This time we met combat ships, and those are French. Oh, we're facing the French for the first time. Is this going to be Comte de Grasse or maybe Admiral Destang? Uh, well, I hope we have enough power to sink them without any discrimination. Well, we're going to find out, aren't we? So let's get a look at what we're dealing with here. So we've got these two transport ships that we're protecting. I feel like, for now at least, we're going to go ahead and just kind of stay the course. There's the Undefeatable right in the center. Our flagship. Rayo bringing up the rear. Pretty small uh, small ship. i got to be careful with that one. And let's see what we're facing. All right, all right. Batilde, uh, Lambitus, and Le Tordi. Okay. So one big one, two smaller ones. We should be able to take him unless I royally screw up, which is always a possibility. But I feel like I've got the edge. Nassau must reach the safe zone. So the safe zone is up here. Hillsborough must reach the safe zone. So that's why it's probably important for us to stay between him and these ships as much as humanly possible. 
Let's switch over to solid shot. Make sure everybody's got that. We do. Good. No, you don't. All right. Let's do this. Safe zone's pretty far away, so it's going to take a little bit of time. You need to get your sails up and go. As much as humanly possible. The wind's that way. The safe zone is that way. Just get going. All right, let's get it. Couple bounced. Now it looks like they all bounced. Now yeah, we nailed his sails at least once. Can't wait to see this big one get going, especially with these 18 inch guns. Just go. So it's a little bit of debate after the last video uh, talking about canister versus grape shot. Now the game does call it canister. Um, my research tells me that um, there is a difference between canister and grape shot. I mean, they were both used. Um, canister was actually in a can and kind of pre-prepared. Grape shot was more kind of just thrown together, uh, more of a kind of a helter skelter of things uh, wrapped in canvas very often. Um, but both were used and both terms were used. I just read a book about uh, Nelson and the victory at Trafalgar and they definitely talk about both grape shot and canister. So he's going to try to get around me, I would guess. So what I'm thinking here is once we fire on these last ships, we're going to start turning and we'll just try to stay between them and these guys and let them get away what do we got going on back here oh american ships <laughs> little tiny american ships they're going to probably try to catch up to these things so that's an added uh challenge i thought this was going to be fairly easy fighting against these three ships but uh, that's that's a bit of an issue. We're going to have to probably go after these guys first because they're small. And they can probably outmaneuver me easily. Make sure we get all these guys turned. I'm a little worried about Rayo where they're at right now. There we go. Turn, 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 baby. Of course, now the concern is that I'm going the opposite direction as these ships. So I really don't want him to get ahead of me. So I'm a little bit concerned about what I'm doing. Maybe what we're going to do is we're going to send Rayo as kind of a last line of defense. So have him follow those guys. I think we'll be okay with these two ships.
Get moving there, Rayo. This concerns me a little bit here. I'm gonna have to maneuver independently for a minute. Oh! Get wrecked! Little tiny ship. I oughta just board him, but that'll take time. Time I don't really have. Get going, just keep moving, folks. So I'm gonna come right around and try to get up on, on these guys' rear if I can. So folks have asked about the different colored bars. I have to look this up to be sure. I know the blue is the sails. Uh, I believe that the uh, the bottom may be morale, but I'm not 100% sure. The, the, the condition of your hull is actually here in the circle. It's this inside circle with the green. Uh, these are the guns, the very inside little dots. Uh, the, the hull is the other one, and then of course the outer one is the wind. We're going to be playing catch up here. That's what I was afraid of when I turned there. But I, I think those ships I'm protecting have a big enough head start now that that shouldn't be a, a huge issue. get turned here that may be the guns is the red the guns I'm gonna have to look that up or maybe somebody can just comment on here and tell me uh, undefeatables way behind now that was that was a huge mistake on my part but move just go how far are they from the Oh, they still got a long way to go to get to the safe zone. Safe zone's right here. Hmm, I don't know. I probably should have just stayed right alongside them and risked being shot in the rear. I'm gonna go this way because I, I feel like that'll that'll work better because of the wind. We're gonna take out these American ships here. Especially this one that just turned. Yeah, he's gonna catch up. He's catching up in a hurry, too. Ah. I definitely screwed up there. Hermes surrendered. I'm not even going to worry about that. How are we doing here? Yeah. Too fast for me. All right, Rayo, you stay on this side of them. Should have sent one of my big ships. I would have been okay then. I 
I don't think there's any chance I catch up. He's gonna pass me. All right, so let's go for the sails if we can. Try to slow this guy down before he gets too far ahead of me. I should have done this sooner. Oh, he's getting away. Darn it. And we're not even close. Oh, what a disaster. And they are getting closer to the safe zone. But Rayo is the only line of defense at this point. Go! Go! Why'd you turn? Oh, I got him too close to the edge. Oh, they're so close. Run away! Can I put those guys on AI? Not that that has... Oh, wait, no, what? No. Why in the... Ever, oh, my God. Why would AI turn around when their mission is to get to that safe zone? Keep them occupied, Rayo. That's your job. Keep them occupied. They may get away. Oh, is there a shore battery firing on them? It sure looked like it. I got them too close to the shore, but they're going to get away. Go! Go! Why'd you stop? I got stuck in shallow water again. Springbird surrendered. Another American ship taken out. He just got one of his up against the shore now. Now it's our turn. Although we got real, really no ability to fire to that side right now. But the good news is the mission has been accomplished. Ooh, no, no, no. Poor Rayo. So we probably didn't need uh, canister fire here. Probably should have went with solid shot, but that's okay. Are they safe? They're about to be. I think they're safe. All right, Rayo, you've done your duty. Get out of there. Let the big boys handle this. Hillsboro's retreated. Nassau's not far behind. Man, I did not think that was gonna happen. Oh, geez, Undefeatable's on fire. That's bad. That's the first time I've had that happen. Put it out, boys. Put it out. All right. I think we got it out, or nearly so. Do we? You gotta be careful here because we're we're heading towards shore. Get around, Rayo, get around. Alright, you know what? Just stay where you're at. Can't even see this guy. 
Yes! Get him down there. Nassau's out. Now, do we keep fighting? Or is this mission over at that point? I would think we have to keep fighting. Oh, that's it. Okay. <laughs> that, that was not my finest hour. But that was a, a, a good kind of easing into the fight against the French and the Americans. Obviously, the Americans don't have a great navy at this point. Or much of a navy at all, for that matter. Uh, we did... Oh, we actually captured the USS Hermes, even though I didn't board it. Not that that's going to do a whole lot, really. So let's go back and see where we're at with things uh, and, and kind of uh, see what's next. I would imagine something, something bigger is in store for us after that one. Captain, Admiral has been informed that Admiralty reinforced our squadron with some new ships. Other captains are already prepared and provided justification for own requests, so only two of those ships is, is without new appointment yet. A smaller corvette and a larger frigate. I get another frigate? <laughs> uh, new French-made frigate? I'll take two. I shouldn't have bought one. I was going to get one anyway. So, uh, All right, so here we go. We've got... Uh, Harm Rum uh, battle down here in Grand Bahama. Uh, we've got a mission here, a clash. Uh, it looks like a relatively small one. Uh, and we got to see what else has happened here. So the capture of Savannah. Uh, so now, oh, that's going to be a big land mission, it would appear. Lieutenant General Sir Henry Clinton has honored us to perform the opening move of our new southern strategy. Uh, so yeah, April 14th, 1781. Uh, I feel like the Southern strategy had been going for a while at that point because um, Charleston had been taken by that point. So uh, cool, though. Awesome. Ontario Express, that's the one that uh, excellent. We just won. We gained some experience some prestige, a ton of money. Uh, these are the two that we sent our things on. Or all oh, these are ones that we have available to us now. So Spain troops advance. Spanish troops under... Uh, de Golvez, in an effort to dislocate British settlements along the Gulf of Honduras, captured Roatan. I've been there. I have been on that island. That is very cool. I've been on the island of Roatan in Honduras uh, on March 16, 1782, and then quickly took Black River. Okay, so uh, Order of Merit is decoration awarded for military, economic, or substantial contributions to philanthropy, the arts, or sciences. Individuals such as this are the backbone of the empire and should be honored as such by his majesty. Thank you, your majesty. We're now authorized for access to Dedeguaz class frigates, all seized by our bravest navy not more than a decade ago. All right, so what does that give us at this point? That gives us, we've still got the Hastings, which is that troop ship. Uh, I guess let's take a look here. Um, not seeing them so far, but uh, we'll get repaired. Murderous Henry had very little damage, a ton of damage to Surprise, because uh, Surprise was off on that side mission. Uh, undefeatable, not much damage. War Spite, we'll get them repaired. We're just going to repair all of the ships. Uh, Hermes, send it to the Admiralty. We don't need that one at this point. Need crew, need a captain, need a crew. All right. We've got a career point. We've got three new areas of research. Army brass cannons. That'll be very helpful. Uh, so we have to spend not only uh, gold, but also... Uh, prestige points for each of these. Access to Grenadiers, 1775. Huge. Woolwich Foundry Brass Large Guns, also good. I'm all about research whenever humanly possible. So let's see, does that give us any new guns? Let's uh, start with Murderous Henry. What do we have available to us? Armstrong's guns are still the best. Still the best there. Uh, what about... Undefeatable. Obviously, they have bigger guns available to them. 24-pound um, Woolwich guns. Now, we don't have enough of them in the shop, uh, but right now, uh, that's what we have available. So, Last thing I want to look at real quick before we wrap this episode up is I want to look at the troops. And I want to look at the available options. See, we now have 
uh, grenadiers. Uh, grenadier companies are elite assault troops, above average physical size, uh, and has been considered important for all the original grenadiers and in principle height and strength remained the basis of selection for these picked companies. We also can do mortars, which is new. So uh, some new things available to us that we're going to have to consider before we go to try and take Savannah. We'll also look at the available options for upgrading some of our ships, but that is for another day. As always, I welcome your comments, your questions, your input, any and all things, and we will see you again tomorrow with another episode. Thanks for watching.